The ball, yep, the ball has to be moved. Actually, I'd like to say that he moved the ball just half a second too late, maybe a whole second too late. He's getting double and triple teamed. The ball has to be released from his foot to his open man, and his open man has to move the ball to open space. As you see here, they're getting the ball to open space in the backfield. Excellent decision making. The red side is going to double the ball, especially now that they have the one nothing lead early. Anytime that it's in the defensive side, they're going to double the ball. A great play. Not quite great, but a good idea. Yeah, obviously, you would have expected him to go to the outside of the field. Good ball movement. It might, ooh, great job, eh? Excellent job preventing the corner kick. You know, sometimes a pass doesn't go right to the guy's feet, but when you have quick ball movement that makes the defense turn around and uh, reposition their body before they even start running after the ball, you have a chance of recovering the ball or somebody slipping and falling. You got a chance of a ball hitting off someone and going in a direction that might benefit you towards the offensive goal. It's just a matter of disorienting the defense. When you see the defense in a line or standing still, Right, that's the right thing to do. Oh, that's beautiful playmaking. Mm. You did expect more from the guy going to the corner, though. What you're expected to do is to get the ball, stop the ball before the... Uh... Oh, he looks like he hit his head off the sign. Too many ads in soccer. I got to tell you right off the bat, just too many advertisements. It's despicable. But, um, yeah, you know, when the guy... Going to the line is chasing the ball at towards the corner flag. You're expected to just stop the ball, recover the ball, and make a one-on-one -on -one play with the defender with the attempt to get the ball across the crease towards the goal. Whew, strong physical contact, eh? You know, I tell these young soccer players, right? In some regions, the officials will call every bump, every nudge, every push. But to be an offensive soccer star, you have to be strong. You have to be able to take a strong body contact and stay on your feet. You're often not going to get the call you expect. And of course, when the ref sees you yelling at him and looking for a call, he might not give it to you. Now, of course, he, the guy in the field didn't do that. But... At the same time, he really got knocked off the ball. And these young forwards have to have that strength, that hip strength, that abdominal strength, leg strength, upper body strength, to take a body check and stay on their feet. In fact, not just stay on their feet, but stay in the play and make a play for the ball. That's good football. I like that. When the offensive players challenge for the ball, that's a great sign. Strong, strong work. Right, yeah, I would make the play back. Let the guy with the most vision of the field make the pass. That ball, that's a ball that should be handled. Should be handled. He knows that should be handled. I like the officiating in this match. They're not blowing the whistle every time people bunch up and make contact. Excellent football. Oh, yeah. That's, yo, that's beautiful. Get that. Oh, well defended. 
See, that's an incredibly smart play. He found space going into the middle, the central area of the field. I would say towards half, halfway or even beyond halfway of the offensive field. He goes to the center. He had the option to shoot, and he saw the option to make a pass to his man, to his uh, offensive teammate in the center of the field in front of the net, inside of the box. He made the pass, and the defenseman made a great play. But that's, that's a great play on both sides. Moore, go to the center. See, he went back outside and the defense was able to double-team the ball. There he wants to go to the center and look for the shot. Ooh! No foul, good defensive play. Good offensive work to main, to gain the ball, to receive the ball as a pass, and make a play for the one-on-one. -on -one. The defenders here are clearly strong. When you see strong defending like that, my recommendation is to pull the ball into open space, and just have a long shot. A hard, long shot on net. Well, because even in this scenario, if you take the long shot and it's hard, you're likely to get a corner kick off the rebound from the goalie save. Or in another good scenario, if it deflects off a defender and it's either a corner kick or a rebound for your teammate. See, the passing is excellent. The positional passing is excellent. The players have to receive that ball and settle it immediately, though, because these defenders are very strong, they're fast, and they're right on the player as soon as the ball gets there. And they don't have time to let the ball bounce in the air and recover. Oh, great pass. Have a shot, eh? Okay, you see here is the play. He didn't have an immediate shot, but when he recovers the ball, he should try to get a shot. Even if it's going to hit a defender causing a rebound, it's another situation where it can cause, uh, what is it, turmoil, not turmoil or chaos, but uh, confusion on the defensive line. Where the defensemen have to find the rebound and then recover their position to chase after the rebound. And that works in your favor as the offensive team because you're facing your target, you're facing the net. The defensemen often will be facing away from where the rebound goes and they'll have to turn around, reposition their body and chase to get back in position. And you can take the immediate shot as soon as you can get to the ball, throwing off the goalie and the defender. Especially in a situation where you're a goal down early because you're going to want to take as many opportunities to shoot and possibly get corner kicks as you can. Oh, good strong work, eh?